Hi guys, on today's video I'm going to be talking about the Mark 23 suppressor for the Tokyo Marui. Now when I go to my local field a lot of people are asking how do I get it so quiet? So I thought I'm just going to make a video and just show you. Um, basically the tools you'll need is a pair of scissors, a very sharp blade, I use a scalpel blade if you can see that and you need some of this mark of this um tape and um, material tape i guess just like camo tape but it's got to be the material type it can't be anything plastic so what you want to do is start off by taking all your baffles out of your suppressor i've already removed all mine they're already gone and what you'll end up with is these So what you're going to want to do is cut into it, you need to cut a V. So cut a cut like that, and then cut a cut like that. Remove that section. You'll be ending up with something like that. And you only need to do that to two of them, two of your baffles. <coughs> so I've got two here done. Then, you're going to need some scotch Brite. You can get this from any, any shop, anywhere. You might even have some in the house. And you're going to use your scissors. And you're going to need to cut the same shape as this. So mark it out, cut them all. It is very, very time consuming, but it's very worth it in the end. So I've got mine ready done which I've already made so they'll look like this so I've got six there which replaces one of the baffles and then I've got another three, four, five, seven I've got another seven made which replaces another baffle and that's just enough inside the suppressor, which is basically what come out of the suppressor. So what you're going to want to do is put this in first, which is your original with the V cut in it. Put one of them in that way. Shove all that down inside there. Then you're going to want to get your bunch of seven of your Scotch Brights. It's good to put them on the end of a screwdriver or something like that, just to keep them all in one line. Again. Wiggle them inside there. Don't compact them too much. Like that. And then you want to get your next original baffle with the V cut out. Again, put that in that way. Like that. Push that down with your finger. And then you want to get your last six of your Scotch Bright discs, I guess, that you've cut and put those in. So they'll go in there like that. And it just finishes nice and snug with the top. What you're going to want to do next is, I'm sure you've heard of, all heard of it, the fart flat mob. So cut a section of your tape, like that. Then I use the end of the suppressor. basically cut around a mech make the uh, fault flap so once you've cut round you should be end, you should end up with a circle patch like that now before you stick this on the end you need to get some sort of lubricant silicon spray anything like that just spray it on the excess piece that you had cut off dab a bit on your finger and put it right in the center of that sheet what this does it allows the BB to pass through without getting caught on the sticky part of the tape so now we're going to stick this on the end like that Now 
Make sure that's well on there. And then you're going to want to get your scalpel blade and just find the centre. So push your finger in the middle a little bit and it will make an indent. Find the centre, go from one side to the other, and then go from that side, turn it around, come from that side. So you're making an X inside. Like that. And that's basically it. It's really it's really simple but it's very very effective. Give it a go, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.